אורי אליצור died as an editor of מקור ראשון, an economist, but uh, he was much more than all this, he was a leader, a leader in the national uh, camp in Israel. He was one of the founders of this settlement, one of the heads of Gush Emunim at the time. And uh, he, he never was afraid to fight against the, the uh, establishment, any establishment, the establishment of the country, the political establishment, the social establishment, sometimes even uh, the uh, religious establishment. He was always very faithful to his truth. He was very close to Netanyahu, but was no, had no problem criticizing when he was never needed to. He was very close to Netanyahu. He was the head of his uh, uh, headquarters at, at the time, but uh, he didn't hesitate to confront him and he didn't hesitate to leave him when his political ideas uh, were assessed by him as dangerous to the future of Israel. He teaches us that building the land of Israel is not only building another house, it's also writing, writing the words, getting the message out. Oh yes, I think we, we had to learn this from, uh, from the left. I think we, for, for a long time, really didn't pay much of attention to the written word in, in the political side of it. It was more important to build another building, another house, another settlement. He realized that if we will not fight the, the public relations arena, if we will not fight over the, the, the public ideas, we will lose the main fighting of the land of Israel. And he was writing until, until the end? He was writing until the end. Two weeks ago I asked him to publish an article in Makorishon and he wrote me, I won't be able to refuse anyone whose name is Eldad and as he published my father in Nekuda and other places, I uh, accepted it and he always published whenever, wherever I sent him something, he didn't try to edit it, to, to, to shape it according to, to his ideology. But uh, he was very faithful and, and he worked until the last moment.